It's Reveille. Take note, Democrats are purging from their party those who don't toe the line on the party's extreme political views. We all remember how pro-life Congressman Dan Lipinski was targeted and defeated by his own party. For Democrats at the local level, it is no different. Meet Democrat Dusty Rhodes, the popular Hamilton County, Ohio auditor. In a Republican county, he is the longest serving Democrat now in his eighth term with a thick resume, including awards and professional accomplishments, and even having been named Cincinnati's most popular disc jockey. By all accounts, everybody likes him. Just like Lipinski, Rhodes is a Catholic pro-life Democrat in the tradition of President John F. Kennedy. They aren't allowed in the Democrat party anymore. Last summer, at the height of the BLM protests, Dusty tweeted, just wondering when they're going to paint Black Lives Matter on Auburn Avenue, you know, in front of that building where they terminate black lives and white ones too. He was referring to Planned Parenthood Clinic on that street. The Democrat County Chairwoman called his comments racist and sexist, of course. Other Democrats piled on and called for a censure Party leaders vowed to not support him if he runs again next year. In the Democrat Party, for even an 80-year-old, there is only one public view allowed. Democrat leadership is demanding ideological conformity, not just in their party, but in every American institution as they push critical race theory everywhere. Corporate America and big tech are following along. Americans before rejected groupthink. Our Constitution intentionally supports the individual. So where are we headed? Dusty Rhodes said the Democrats can censure him until the cows come home. God bless him. America needs more Dusty Rhodes. I'm Jeannie Ives, co-founder of Breakthrough Ideas. Find out more at Breakthrough-Ideas.com.